Turning now to the uncertain future of TikTok here in the U.S., a bill that could ban the popular app over national security concerns passed its first test in the House. And while President Biden says he supports the measure, it is facing an uncertain future in the Senate. NBC senior Capitol Hill correspondent Garrett Haig joins us now. He's got more on this one. Hey, Garrett, good morning. Hey, Hoda, good morning. And yeah, the overwhelmingly bipartisan nature of this House vote, along with just how fast it came together in a Congress that does not do anything quickly is a sign of lawmakers concern about what they believe are the national security risks of this popular video app used by more than 170 million Americans. But now TikTok's users are pushing back and it's not clear what steps Washington or TikTok will take next. For social media giant TikTok, an uncertain future this morning as a bill calling for the company to split from its Chinese parent company or be shut down now heads to the Senate. The U.S. House on Wednesday in a rare and overwhelmingly bipartisan vote passing the measure that requires TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, to sell the app within six months. Republican Mike Gallagher wrote the bill. What do you say to people who just fundamentally don't understand why the app where they watch silly dance videos is a national security? Security threat. The possibility for dangerous propaganda is too immense to allow one of our foremost adversaries to have this control over what is increasingly becoming the dominant news platform in America. Lawmakers and national security experts have long been concerned with ByteDance's ties to the Chinese Communist Party, which many believe can and does store data from American users, partly because of a national security law that requires Chinese companies to share data and other information with the government. The reason that is valuable to the Chinese Communist Party is it, be it begins to allow them to know how to influence Americans. In its annual threat assessment, the U.S. intelligence community says China used TikTok in the 2022 midterms, warning it could do so again in this fall's presidential election. TikTok has repeatedly denied any connections to the Chinese government, with the company's CEO responding to the House vote late Wednesday. We will continue to do all we can, including exercising our legal rights to protect this amazing platform. Just 65 House members, mostly Democrats, oppose the bill. It's an overly broad bill that I don't think will withstand First Amendment scrutiny. Uh, the, the other issue is that there are a lot of people who make their livelihoods on this. Including creators like J.T. Laborn. It is 100% of our income. Um, it's how I feed my wife and three children. Even some who support a divestment see a double-edged sword in an election year, with more than 20% of American voters using TikTok at least once a day. Cutting out a large group of young voters is not uh, the best known strategy for re-election. All right, so this is a process, Garrett. What happens next? Well, Hoda, from here, this bill will go to the Senate, where they don't seem to be in any hurry to pick it up. Leader Schumer, the majority leader, says only that the Senate will review it. But if it does get passed by the Senate and signed by the president, it would give six months for this sale to occur. And that's without what's an almost inevitable court challenge that would come. I think the bottom line here is that TikTok isn't going anywhere anytime soon. All right, Garrett.